check it out it's another legacy transformers evolution thing i've got here legacies evolution voyager maximal leo prime they're still doing the front window box but like he's got his head everything seems to be in there yeah he's got his guns back in there too you probably can't see them on the camera on the side here we got these cool pictures of leo prime now this really i'm pretty sure is meant to be optimus prime as a tiger as a lion which is really cool I like that. Um, now, do am I wrong? Could it be a completely different character? Probably is, and I probably am wrong. But hey, so check it out. They're still playing up the evil fusion thing, except for this time it's his own arm combining with his own body. This isn't the first time they've done this character. They they did him back in the early two thousands um, with the uh, the Beast Wars Neo. And he's got a bunch of cool guns that pop out of his mane. He's got some cool artwork on the side here. We got the record. We got the Junkions. We got Leo Prime. We got some other cool characters. Grimlock and the Dinobots. I'm looking forward to the swoop. I really am. Okay, so let's get them out of the box and check them out. Alright, so continuing on with Leo Prime here. I'm not impressed, actually. I'm going to just say it straight up. I've never owned the original Leo Prime from back in the late 90s, early 2000s, but I have seen it in hand. I have had a chance to play with it. And, like, for what we get, at the price we get it, it's not terrible. It could have been better. Let's go ahead and get into it, okay? So, the old one had a bunch of cool gimmicks in it. One of the cool gimmicks was that this side right here would open up and like it had this spinning attack flame thing. Like I'm going to have to pick up the old one and do a review of the old one. I know. Now it's been reduced to just this. And the old one actually had missile launchers built into the uh, the, the main. But now we're stuck with, with this gimmick right here. We can... Uh, Peg the guns in on both sides. And he can have his artillery mounted shoulder. You can turn up the waist and, and, and here we go. That's kind of cool. I'll give you that. That is kind of cool right there. He's got, you know, the roaring lion with the, uh, oh. And yeah, the, uh, does the mouth open? Does it? it? It's hinged. There we go. You can have the lion roaring. And firing off a barrage of blasters, and he's he that actually actually is kind of a cool pose, and that's really why you want to get the older one. Let me go ahead and pull these guns out just to get a quick look at them. We've got two small ones that uh, don't really fit in the hand, but you can use them as like Tomfa hand weapons, and those ones peg on either side of the main. And then there's these other bulkier kind of guns. That can fit in either hand. And if you're so inclined, you've got these, these main pieces right here that mount on the side of his arm. If you want, you can flip those around. And this is where the weapons get stored in... Um, actually, I don't know if they do get stored that way. But you can, you can do this also. So you, you can... He can multi-wield, he can wrist mount wield, and he can dual wield his blaster gun. So that's pretty cool. So you, you got options. Options are optional. Now, this is one thing that I take issue with. I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, on the back of the box they demonstrated his Evo Fusion gimmick. Now, Evo Fusion is supposed to be some type of combination, right? Okay, well, the original toy did this. You can take the paws from the from the rope from the lion mode, and you can flip them around and bring out these cool Tomfa style blade things on either arm. The box claims a feature that the original toy had is some new, brand new future feature. And they're co-opting it into their dumb running gimmick of Evo Fusion. Hasbro, th come on. That's not fair. That really isn't. And could this guy even Evo Fuse? He does have 
multiple peg ports. He's got the two feet ports on the bottom, so you could plug in super booties. Um, he's got ports on the back of here, so you could wrap something around his arm if you were so inclined. Does he have any other... Oh, you know what? These. I know a way to test that. Hold on. We're going to take this thing right here. Okay, so he does have 5mm ports. I used to be a Decepticon till I got a blaster installed on my knee. I'm sure that line doesn't work at all, but you know what I'm referencing. Let me put his claws away and flip those back away. And so we we're talking about the gimmicks. So he, he, he lost. Sorry about the sudden jump cut. Hopefully I can edit that out. Um, where was I? <sighs> he lost a lot of gimmicks. He's got this gimmick right here where his chest panel can open up. And yes, that is compatible with an effect piece. But yeah, the, the if you're going to want, if you need a Leo Prime, I'd really lean into spending. Now, the older one is going to cost you a lot more, and I'll talk about that when I get the older one. But let's just stay focused on this guy for right now, okay? Uh, the head is, yes, very much so an Optimus Prime style head. I want to say this is supposed to be Optimus Prime as a lion. I might be wrong. I probably am. But I want to say this is supposed to be literally not... This is this is truck turned into lion, and as such, you know you do see a lot of kind of lean over references. You got the nice blue, you got the reds, you got the silvers going on. But like, yeah, they combined him with a lion. He he he's a lion now. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, articulation wise, we've got a I want to say it's a ball jointed neck, but it's really only restricted to swivel, and you can use the transformation hinge to get the head to tilt forward a little bit so you can look down and he can look down on others i look down on you uh, he's got universal jointed shoulders he's got an above the elbow swivel he's got a decent elbow but then the lion thing gets stuck and jammed in the way uh there is no wrist swivel that's all one piece for transformation the lion head is on this nice hinge assembly, so it will get out of the way when you want it to. Same thing with the lion butt, which is over here as like shoulder armor. Same articulation in the other arm, same restrictions. He does have a really nice, solid waist joint. That is, that's solid. He's got universal jointed hips. He's got above the knee swivel. He's got really nice... At easily 90 degree knee bend going on there. You can even go backwards for the transformation. And he's got an above the ankle. He's got an at the ankle swivel. And he's got a posable, posable heel spur for when you need that. And that can come in handy sometimes. That really can. Like right there. You know, you want to get his foot just up just a little bit. That's what the heel spur is good for. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so comparisons. Let me get them nice and straight here. We've got Film Noir Spider-Man. We've got the Soda Can. We've got the two Deluxe Car Guys. And let's bring in the Pride. Let's bring in all the other Lions. Oh, man. That sucks. I have a... He has had zero exposure to light ever since I got him, and all his parts have yellowed. That is horrible. Oh my goodness. That's horrifying. He's just been on my shelf this entire time ever since I got him. And we got Little Kitty also. So, you know, the, 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 the Voyager figure, the, this for Voyager figure, he is decently sized. Let's go ahead and get into transformation. And I'm not too familiar with the old one's transformation. So we're just going to take this transformation as it is. Turn the legs all the way around because in this case, yes, the robot legs become the animal legs as well. I want to say it's supposed to be like that.
No, we have it correct. We have it correct. Then we're going to come up here to the chest. And we're going to open the chest from the middle. Right here. The whole thing opens up. Then you're going to pull out this middle section here. And this is, there's some cool little tech detailing buried inside there. Hope you can see it. Hope it's not too washed out. Twist it around there. Then fold the head into the torso. And then that becomes the underbelly of the lion. That is a cool little trick right there. So we're going to come back here now. We're going to pull the back away. And again, cool little tech detailing. Even some little gears molded onto the... Um, onto the armature there. You're going to swing things around. You're going to flip out the lion tail. Then we're going to come back up here to the arms for the robot and we're going to bring this entire swivel inward like this. Oh, we got to turn that around real quick. Flip the okay. flip in the flip in the wrists. Bring in that armature there. Turn those out so we got the lion legs facing outwards. And these robo shell parts. Okay. Tuck the hands in. These robo shell parts are going to connect together like that. Then. We've got the lion legs to turn around. You kind of just got to squeeze everything together. Now this, this little square tab hole here is going to go onto this tab here. Like that. And it's not even going to sit on there perfectly flush either. Come on. I'm trying to see it at a weird angle. You're a weird angle. Yes, I am. Okay, so we've got the whole front end connected in. Now, this is supposed to close together. It's not. Oh, I got those tabs in there. Nice. Now, on the back here, there's a tab inside here that's going to go into the slot. <sighs> inside the back. And that's going to connect together. And that's going to connect together. Then these things are going to sneak underneath there and tab all together there we go we have him in his lion mode all right so we've got him in his animal mode now his lion mode and like yeah there's some exposed robot greebly bits but like they, they do a, they do a solid effort of covering up a lot of stuff oh forgot to flip those in right there but yeah so like in in lion mode, his head completely static and stuck. You can, if you are so inclined, flip out his mane and flip out his other stuff. And we can... Peg everything together and then disconnect his transformation joints there and like it's hard to pose them because like his front legs aren't very well articulated but you can kind of get him a little crouched down and get him in attack position so he can kind of blast away with his lion mane of glory Duh. yes his face edward edward i hurt i hurt edward i'm sorry I'm sorry, but that joke needs to be made. He very much so looks like like the uh, the, the the homunculus from Full Metal Alchemist. But moving on, um, he's got some nice, good fur detail going on. It's all washed out in white. Nice molded in detail for the mane. The leg articulation is the same, but like if the front legs aren't going to be very poseable, then like the back legs really are kind of a waste. Then you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get. <clears throat> 
Realm Raw Spider-Man, Soda Can, and like stand him up on his legs. Like he makes a good long size lion. So like if you want to mix him in with your other action figures and stuff, like feel free to do that. Like heck, I could even probably get Spider-Man to ride. You better fall off. You better be terrified of him. Yes. That that's why he fell off. Not because I'm bad at posing, but because he's terrified. And here's the, uh, the, 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 the vehicles. And let's bring back in all the other kitties. Meow. Yeah, that's how they all look together. So, um, you can still find him around at Walmart and Target. He's, if, if you want a cool looking lion and you're not too keen about, you know, it, it, articulation isn't a huge deal, cool. He's got a very cool robot mode, but like, really, I'm going to have to get a hold of the old one and do a side-by-side -side comparison because I think the old one might be better. So this has been Colwyn talking about Transformers, uh, Legacy, Evolution, uh, Leo Prime. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and have a good time. Bye-bye.